conceptual perspective. Talk about Dropping in with a little special announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time. You know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse. Uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you. Everybody, it's Dr. Rick dropping in on you. Hope everybody is having a good day. Um, midday uh, run take care of a few errands that I couldn't wait on dealing with and uh, I decided to talk about something that's on my mind um, you know the routine uh, you saw the intro if you believe in the work we're doing uh, show some love, show some support uh, you know I get a lot of stuff that comes to me, people send it to me and I get uh, being a part of media gives me access to some things, but I get a lot of people who know what I talk about, what I teach on, what I write on, what my passions are, and uh, they value my insight. So they'll send me a lot of stuff that they just want my take on. Uh, sometimes they'll suggest, hey, why don't you write an article on it? Why don't you do a video or something? And, you know, if it's something that moves me, I'll definitely do it. Um, if not, I'll give them my take on it and I'll just keep it moving. Uh, <clears throat> a few days ago, somebody told me uh, in passing about an ongoing beef with uh, Soldier Boy and Charleston White. Uh, and it got out of hand to say somewhere in Florida or something like that um, and Charleston White uh, maced either Soldier Boy or some people in his clique or something like that and now um, it's come to my attention that uh, Soldier Boy and the peeps in ATL have basically issued a no fly for Charleston White in Atlanta. And some are claiming they're extending that to other places on the East Coast. Uh, so basically, uh, there's a ban of some sort, you know, which is crazy to me, but I understand how the streets work. So from the street perspective, I see what's happening here. There's so many different things to talk about on this and I don't have time to talk about it all. Uh, and for those of you who may not know who Charleston White is, uh, he is quote unquote a cat that when he was young got in some trouble for some stuff what I understand, actually had bodies on his name. Um, and that's not uncommon for people who are gang affiliated. They put bodies on young cats because normally uh, they don't get as much time uh, if they do get caught. Uh, but he ends up getting out. A lot of people think uh, he got out so early that he rolled or he snitched and you know the whole bullshit with that. is he's reinvented himself now as a voice of reason and a basic, basically this guy who's exposing 
rappers in the rap industry and how rappers are allowing themselves to be used to destroy the community. Uh, I've heard some of his stuff. It's not something I go watch, uh, but it's a couple of things, again, people send to me and ask my take on it. I'm real simple. I don't care where the message comes from or who delivers the message. I'm real simple about truth. It's truth. You know, I stand on the truth. I may not necessarily agree or, you know, ride with the person who's doing it. I don't follow him enough to have a real opinion on him as a person. Uh, I have questions, but they are not pressing enough for me to pursue the answers, at least not at this time. It may come to that point. I've just never seen him as relevant enough for me to be, you know, spending valuable time trying to figure out who he is. Uh, now that there seems like there may literally be some type of street war brewing, it could all be gas too, but it may be something I want to know a little bit more about just for the sake of being aware and talking on facts and not hearsay. But that's who he is. He's, you know, he's that person and he tends to tick off celebrities because that's who he takes aim at. Uh, the people who don't like him believe that he is building his platform on taking aim at people who have platforms who are building their careers and in some way injuring or damaging their reputations and their energy so that they don't like him because of that. My take on the whole thing is this. All of the community stuff, you know, I'm pro-black, I'm pro-black family, I'm pro-marriage, I'm pro-economic independence and building as a race. That's me. I'm pro us being able to rescue us and do far better than what we're doing. That's what that's what um, I am. Now, my issue is and anybody who knows me probably won't be shocked that this is where I'm going to go. That someone like Charleston White others like the cats that are building platforms going after Charleston White are enriching themselves off of ignorant play. Because you got cats on now with million views threatening to kill this dude. Know how that's going to go if he ends up dead. But that's where the money's at. The money is at entertain me, show me violence, show me ignorant ass behavior, show me everything that's destroying my community and I'm going to gas up and I'm going to get everybody to watch and I'm going to share it on every freaking platform show me pathways to success that everybody can participate in show me uh, ways to inform and empower instead of using the platform to make threats and, and uh, incite murder what about inspiring programs for young black boys? What about inspiring programs for struggling families? What about inspiring uh, black unity? What about finding ways to show the maturity of black men to come together and settle their differences without bloodshed? No, let's, 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 let's up the ante. Let's see how violent we can get. Let's see how much we can show we are legitimately a part of the street. You know, I grew up in the hood. I understand the hood. But it was always my desire to rise above it. Not forget it, not abandon it, but rise above it so that I can be a positive influence because the lives in the community matter to me. I didn't want to see anybody in the community dead, not even the people that didn't like me. I wanted to see people make it. I didn't want to see the, I wanted to get to a point where the goal stopped being to get out of the community and the goal started to be that the community was so thriving that everybody wanted to be socially productive and a part of it. That was my goal. That's still my goal. So when I sit up and I see people and 
they're threatening to kill one black man threatening to kill another black man black men over a beef and some mace threatening to kill another black man and George Zimmerman is still rolling freely now the crazy all a lot of this went down in Florida still rolling freely in Florida in Georgia but Charleston White can't walk or set foot in certain parts of the East Coast uh, I, I, again, I'm not championing for dude. I don't know him, um, and you know, you know, I see some of the things he does. But to me, uh, everybody is learning how to sensationalize content for the sake of getting likes, getting shares, um, and and everything. My thing is, is there a way? I, I I'm not about killing nobody's dollars but I'm, a, I'm, I'm more about saving my people so my question becomes is there a way to sensationalize the positive content is there a way to make positive content entertaining to where people want to watch it where people want to see it can we become creative enough that we don't have to take the easy route of producing violence, sex play, misogyny, um, all the ignorant BS that leads to our demise that has historically sunk us. Can, is there a way that we can take the very thing that we are using to elevate ourselves, a few of us, and say, let's see how we can feed the community. Let's see how we can house the community. That's what I'm working on now. Feeding and housing, homeless, addicted, um, uh, mental ill, domestic abuse. Those are the things that we're setting up and we're, we're trying to get done. That's the thing on the plate right now. And while I'm doing that, and while I'm talking about all the things that hurt us, while I'm teaching the true nature of what's holding us back and what we can do to change that, you got all these people and everybody's flocking to it. Everybody's gravitating to it. And then we ask the question, why are we in the situation we're in? Do you realize that if we thought positive, if we decided that we were going to escape this fratricide, femicide, black fratricide, black femicide mindset that we were going to see the value in black lives, that we were going to see the black, the value in the black family and black marriage and black love and black in educating our young black children to be powerful, to be forceful. If we saw that, then that wouldn't actually be a need for the street life. We identify with the street life so much that it has clout, that people gravitate to it and it's destroying us piece by piece, cell by cell, we, we are being devoured by our own ignorance. And this is the thing that we are celebrating. These are the things that we're doing. And we can say we don't celebrate it, but we keep clicking the like button. We keep clicking the share button. We keep doing it. And my thing is, this isn't about me. You don't have to listen to one video. You don't have to watch, share, or do anything. But somebody's gotta be out there that you like that's doing something positive doesn't have to be me uh i am more content with doing what i do for a living and walking away from this life because the goal has been accomplished and i don't have to be the one to accomplish it my legacy is set i've done the work my legacy is set i've given you 25 volumes i've given you literally 10,000 videos i've given you a lot that will be reviewed and studied and analyzed for decades I, I did what I need to do. I don't have to have a pat on the back to know I did it. I don't have to have my name. I don't need the likes. I could take all the energy, effort, and time I put into doing what I do for my people and do it for my family. And I would actually be much better off. So this isn't about me getting views. This is about the, the right type of content getting views, regardless of the person who's putting it out there. I'll give you a prime example. Boyce Watkins, the last time I did an analyzation of all the, 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 the top figure heads from Yvonne Cornette to Umar Johnson to Dr. Claude Anderson to Tyreek Nasheed, 
believe it or not, Dr. Boris Watkins over all platforms has the most followers, gets the most views, has the most social media engagement. You never once heard me go at dude. We have some philosophical differences on different things, but most of the stuff uh, we have, we have the same thing. And personal uh, ideologies are, 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 are meaningless to me. Are we moving? Are we operating? Um, and whatever differences I have or issues I have stays behind the scene because the, the, the collective is bigger than my ego. You never hear me go after him. So it's not about me tripping because somebody's got more likes or shares. Dr. Boris Watkins blows me out the water each and every day. I'm okay with that. At least people are tuning in and hearing something positive. At least people are tuning in and getting some hope. At least people are tuning in and finding uh, a sense of self. Uh, a sense of hope, uh, something positive, something outside of the thing that's sucking the life out of the community. At least that's what the reality is. So I am okay with that. My problem is the blood suckers who are sucking the life out of hope, out of our uh, opportunity, out of an idea of something positive. And I'm not talking about assimilating into the Eurocentric idea either. I'm not saying you've got to assimilate into you, the Eurocentric idea of what's professional, what's courteous, what's classy, what's beautiful, and all of that. That's not anywhere close to what I'm suggesting. I'm suggesting positive. Collectivism, building together, growing together, having a sense of respect and admiration and appreciation for black life. That's the thing that I'm talking about. So it's not about we, we're we not acting white enough. We don't have to act. I, I, I actually love Ebonics. I love it because I understand the history of it. I literally uh, study linguistics. So I understand it. I understand it. I don't have a problem with that. I have a problem with the content, not the way that it's spoken. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with what we're feeding the minds of our youth through our music. I have a problem with that. I have a problem that the games that I use play desensitize death and promote violence. Those are the things that concern me. If you didn't see uh, my first uh, excerpt reading from my book, Born in Captivity, which is my 19th book uh, out of 25, uh, published it, man, years ago. I can't, you know, it's amazing how life moves, probably about 2018, maybe 26, somewhere back in the teens. Uh, it was published and I'm doing some readings and excerpts to try to help people understand the black enigma, the black behavior, uh, why we keep moving in the same cycle. And you need to check that out. It's the video before this one. Um, maybe the video before this one, another video. It's somewhere up in today. I did it today. So again, check it out. It's born in captivity. But uh, uh, on that note, I'm gonna uh, get ready to get off of here. Uh, but that's my take on the whole Charleston White Soldier Boy thing. Uh, we've got to shift. It's that simple. On that note, I'm out of here. I gotta make some runs and I need to get going. Take it easy.